Hey guys, Melissa here. So right now I'm doing a tag. Um, it's my go-to beauty products. They're not necessarily your favorites, but they're your go-to beauty products. So mine are my favorites, and they're the ones that I'm currently using, kind of as my daily makeup routine. So I'm gonna head right into it. I don't use a primer, but I do use a foundation, and it's Max Studio Tech in. NW15, it's a cream foundation. I've already hit pan and I love it. Absolutely love it. I have to go kind of fast. My color is NW15, in case you're wondering. But I would recommend that you go to the store and get yourself um, tested for your correct coloring. Don't base it off if you think you're the same color as me. Now, because that foundation is so good, um, I don't have to wear concealer. I know that might seem a little weird, like, you always need a concealer, like, um, concealer is the most important beauty product you can have, but this foundation literally hides your blemishes so well that you don't need concealer, for my skin at least. Um, I'm not as acne prone as the next person, um, so this, con this foundation is great, so I don't need concealer. So we're going to skip concealer. So on to setting powder. My go-to setting powder is by Stila, and it's Stila's pressed powder in medium. I've already hit pan on it. I really want to try MAC. Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, but until then, I use this. It's a great setting powder. As for blush, I use Max Mineralized Blush in Dainty. It's a light pink blush for great for pale skin, which I do have, so it looks awesome. Um, so if you have pale skin, it might even look good on darker skin, but I can't speak for what I don't have. <laughs> So, um, but I'd love to see it on darker skin. I think that would be really nice. Um, so try that out. They are a little more pricey than the powder blushes, but they're worth it. As for contouring and um, bronzing, I think contouring, this would fall under the category. I have a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Light Flush. I got it in the MAC Mineralized Kit over the holidays this year, 2009. As for bronzing, I also have a MAC bronzer in Golden Bronze. I haven't tried Laguna Bronzer just because it's a little too pricey for me, but I love MAC bronzer. So I'm going to stick with that for now. As for my cream highlighter. I use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is what it looks like right now. It's seriously wearing itself out. I've got a new one so I'm going to use this up. But it looks like that. It's a great cream um, highlighter. And then when you rub it in it gives, it gives off that great that's it not rubbed in but it looks really nice please believe me I can't rub this in all the way but it looks kinda like that see um these are really great as for my regular highlighter I have this um eyeshadow um from this neutral palette that I got from a makeup artist it's just this matte, I think it's matte, white eyeshadow. I don't know the brand of the palette because I got it from the makeup artist, but it's great and I'll use this palette while I have it. As for eyeshadow, um, I also have this palette. I've been using it regularly now. Um, it's a great neutral palette, as well as I've been using my MAC palette. Um, I don't have many MAC eyeshadows, but the ones I do have, I absolutely love. I absolutely love. Um, I have Plum Dressing, Cranberry, Nocturnal, 
antiqued a little bit of rice paper because it cracked Naked Lunch and Jess and I love Naked Lunch and Jess for all of her wood color as for mascara I have my absolute favorite which is Lash Blast Waterproof by CoverGirl and what's even better is that it's a drug store mascara so you can get for less expensive and it works just as well as for um, eye primer they didn't say to include that in this video but I am going to include it I don't use Urban Decay Primer Potion though I have tried it but I like this a little bit more it's Max Paint Pot and Painterly and I know I love MAC as you can tell I have a lot of MAC products in my daily makeup routine um, this is mostly all the MAC I have as for eyeliner I don't use pencil and I don't use liquid I use gel and again it's another MAC product it's MAC fluid line either on a regular basis it's black track it's just a uh, concrete black On a colorful day, it's microviolet, which is a nice light purple. Um, as for lip gloss, I have two lip glosses and one lip balm. For lip balm, it's Carmex. I'm not sure if I've told you about Carmex yet, but it's a great lip balm when you have chapped lips, which I do. Um, it clears up your chat lips and it's great to put on on a regular basis um, because I have braces and that actually causes my chapped lips. So I put on on a regular basis and it will clear it up in no time. As for lip gloss, I have Viva Glam 5 Lip Glass by MAC and Adalza Glass and Get Rich Quick also by MAC, which I love to wear under or actually over. Um, one of my other go-to lipsticks which is Twig and it's a satin it's by MAC looks like that I also love to wear this over another one of my go-to lipsticks which is Bare Slim Shine it's a really nice neutral um, everyday shade Another go-to lipstick that I love to wear every day by itself is Syrup. It's a luster and it's great to wear every day and it's a berry color. It's really nice. I've worn it like every day this week. And the last thing I have to show you is my brushes. Now I have a couple of them. First I'll show you the um, Essence of Beauty ones. I have two of them. I have my Essence of Beauty eyeshadow brush, which I use to apply my paint pot. Um, and it's a little gross right now because of the paint pot. That's what it does to it. Then I have my Essence of Beauty blusher brush, which I use to apply my setting powder by Stila. As for Eco Tools, I have three Eco Tools brushes. I have my Eco Tools eyeshadow brush, shader brush for eyeshadow, my Eco Tools concealer brush which I actually also use for eyeshadow but um, it's because even though it's for concealer I use it for eyeshadow because of the tip it has at the corner it's good for um, inner creasing. Then I have the um, blusher brush I use for bronzer the Steel 15 brush I use double side for eyeshadow and NYX Trimble eyeshadow pencil. My 181 special edition brush that I use for blush. And lastly, my MAC 210 brush that I use for food line for microviolet or black track, depending on the day. My hair is getting in the way. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you request, subscribe, and comment. Um, Please read a uh, response to this video if you haven't already to someone else. And um, I'd love to see what you keep and go to on a regular basis. Bye.